Hi guys, I'm Wade with Cap Inc. and I'm here with Bob Slywa with Airflow Truck Company. And this is Jeremy Singley with Jeremy Singley Industrial Designs. And we're here to talk about the new Airflow truck that you can see right here behind us. So I designed this truck just to get some numbers. And partly because I just wanted to see the truck. <laughs> and um, also because I hope someday to run this through a wind tunnel. Uh, so a lot of the uh, colleges and universities have a, sm a wind tunnel large enough to put something like this in. I haven't done that yet. Um, but I had CAD files, and if you have CAD files, you can run them through a, a rapid prototype machine. So uh, actually, there's, a, there's another sponsor I didn't mention for this project. Right here, we see uh, Cap Inc. on the decal there. Uh, I got in touch with Cap, and uh, they said, sure, we'll uh, send us the files. We'll make you a, a, a prototype on the Stratasys. And so they did, and I got it back and did a lot of sanding and painting and gluing and so on. And that's how the, uh, the prototype came to be. And actually, it was kind of cool because I myself, you see these 3D models on the screen. And a lot of times when you see the actual product, you're surprised by something or other. I didn't know that was there. I honestly didn't know it was that, that bullet trainee. You can't, you can't put it in any position on the screen and see that uh, in a way that's convincing. So that was kind of fun. But uh, it's fun just to have a truck to hold and make the wheels go around. So this technique was what, the FDM, fuse the FDM, deposition, correct. Yep. modeling? Yep. Didn't think an old truck driver knew something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuse deposition modeling. So basically you guys at CAP did that with a, a, a printer. Uh, with it's a, like a 3D printer that deposits molten plastic yep. on a base. Okay. Yeah. And, and it all comes from the SolidWorks software. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, Came out beautiful. I've never seen it in person either. I mean, this is just for, amazing for me to to hold it in real life again and see it here yeah. and, and, you know. Well, what do you get in and drive? Ah, uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> well, uh, 10 years ago, this was yeah. probably unthinkable, but like yeah. Jeremy said, it's, you can look at it in 3D on your computer system, but it gives it a whole new meaning when you can actually take yeah. that prototype and hold Touch it, it, and, see it. Yep. and share it with other people. Let me hold not everybody, <laughs> not everybody can think in that 3D world. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. That's a very right, powerful tool. Well, it really, where it really comes together, and I do this a lot with my clients. I use FDM a lot with my clients. I usually get something overnight and, uh, with the local, my local uh, vendor in an FDM model. Uh, so just as an example, at some point, we need to make an actual gap sealer that functions and then take the truck and turn it and yaw it and tip it and so on and see if it's doing its thing. Right. And we can do that in a 130-second scale. And again, that's a lot less than a billion bucks. And, and I don't want Bob to drop that, but that's a very durable, that's a working model. It's very durable. Yeah. And plus, you're also seeing a lot of the post-processing. Uh, somebody did a lot of work and made that look very nice. Well, thank you. Yeah. You're welcome, <laughs> Jerry. Yeah. Nice to finally touch it again. That's beautiful.